the x constant is the x constant is wrong Well, that would fix it there, I'm pretty sure. So let's see if that works. I think I'm actually going to also grab a um, an archive from well, a couple weeks ago and I'll pop it open and see what it, what's changed. Our, our archives are a gig each for this thing, which is crazy. We must be um, archiving a whole bunch of shit now. Because those are also zipped up archives. So the X position is wrong. Like, we've got the right scale for the box based on stuff, but the X offset is not being centered. So, like, the literal l position of the rigging objects is now just flat out wrong in the scene. That's crazy. So something changed like all this shit so that when it exports it does it's just fucking wrong we're good like we have the right width and height but the thing is our, our script is taking the our script is pretty dead simple in what it does with those things like we've got this scalar for the, the x and y and what we do is we take the the x and y that's located in the position value of the object and we just the value of the x we're adding in our scene translation well what is our scene translation x did we add in something Well, we don't have a master camera peg or anything, so that's going to be zero. But we're just multiplying this x value. It's basically scene resolution divided by units x.
So we're going to open up Bitey from last week. And let's look. I don't see any camera peg or anything like that. So what we're going to do, let's let's take a look at the scene settings. The scene settings are 960 by 540. Um, we've got 24 by 24. It's in perspective. Uh, field of view is all this. Let's see, if I export Bitey. Let's export him as we used to export him. Let's see if anything's anything's different. And this should basically rule it out if I mean we can also like throw a camera note in there or mess with the, the scene settings and um, see if any of that stuff still is busted. Yeah, so our stuff from last week, totally, there's something that has changed in these Harmony files that changed how um, this is computed and how this stuff works. And um, so let's see. Let's change things one at a time and see what happens. So let's change the scene settings to match what we have in the new Bitey stuff. So the scene settings are 2048 by 2048. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So we now have a square. And we're going to then uh, re-export this dude. And as you can see, the export is taking a hell of a lot longer because we're exporting all these things to a much larger canvas before they're sprite sheeted out. And Harmony, how it builds the sprite sheets is it renders every single frame at scene resolution, including all the dead empty pixels. And then it takes all those and it composites them and chops out the sprites and then puts them into sprite sheets. So even if you haven't done anything, Exporting at that higher resolution definitely takes a hell of a lot longer. So let's then import this. Make sure our scene units stuff isn't broken. And I've spent a lot of damn time working with Harmony, um, well, the scripting system, not working with Harmony, quote unquote. Alright, so, and this is all sorts of fucked up now. So, what that means, it's the scene resolution stuff is not correct.
Well, it looks like we're going to have to figure out exactly why these things are different. I'm going to be right back. So we're going to have to go back to the drawing board a little bit with exactly what the hell is going on with our scaling on um, our object and see what the hell Harmony is actually doing for this. Because what it appears to be is just not consistent. So our scene resolution is 2048 by 2048. Our units and the X slash Y is 24 by 24. Alright, so this location is of an object. Is negative point nine two, comma, negative eleven point six. So if we were gonna do the math here on this thing and figure out where on the sprite sheet the bottom left hand corner of this object should be. If we export at 2048 by 2048, our object is at negative 0.92. Um, basically what we want to do is we want to take 00 is at 1024, and we want to scale like 12 equals, you know, 1024, so 1024 divided by 12. is 85.3 so we would expect our x coordinate to be 1024 plus 85.3 multiplied by 
um, negative 0.92. So we'd expect our bottom left hand corner to be 85.3 times 0.92 um, is 1024 minus 78.476, which is going to be 945.524. Um, that should be our location for our object, basically, after after we're, we've been moved. So we'd expect our x to be at like, you know, negative 0.92. I guess our x and y is actually based off of our origin for our pivot. Is that true? So let's try changing our constants. Like we have our cosmological constant. Let's just set that to 1. And the same thing for our x constant to 1. And let's just re-figure out like what's broken with that sort of stuff. Well, let's actually render it. Because if anything with these objects, the bottom left hand corner should be the easiest thing to get right. Because that should just be set. And it should be the scales that, um... Because the bottom left hand corner of these objects is the bottom left hand corner of the object. It doesn't matter if the scales all sorts of screwed up. Bottom left hand corner should be the bottom left hand corner. And when we scale an object, we're scaling it based on that bottom left hand corner. So let's pivot point aside. This is going to be negative 78.5, and the y is negative 989. And the width and height is, well, as it is. So let's just 
import that and see what it looks like. And perhaps our math is wrong somewhere. We went, we did something that we shouldn't have, and the constant scaling values that we're using are just a crutch that's actually just completely bullshit. Well, I'm not I'm not vulgar like you have. I have, you know, a bunch of coworkers here in this basement who may not appreciate that. By coworkers I mean there's probably some bugs somewhere. So is that the correct location on this dude? left side of hook. No, it's not. It's not the correct location at all. Like, it's the bottom left hand corner there is not at the bottom left hand corner of this. Like, as you can very clearly see, they are not lining up. So if we can't line up that bottom left hand corner properly, then we have a major problem. Like in the math we did checks out, like the math is correct that we just wrote down. So there's something else that's wrong here with um, either this is being drawn in the wrong place or the export of the sprite isn't matching up with it. Thank you for following. Um, name I cannot pronounce. They were read. Um, <laughs> hopefully this is as entertaining to you as it is to everyone else. So we're trying to figure out basically this export process at the moment. It's not putting it in the right spot. And if we cannot put this in the right spot, then we're completely fucked. Like, there's not going to be anything we can do to fix anything if the math is not correct. So let's go to the flipbook. Let's go to Sprite Zero in that flipbook. Let's go to its collision object. There's no collision object here. Here it is. 
So the size is at 80. The position is 1606 by 881. World position negative 35. All right, well, why don't we just crack open this texture? Let's take frame zero. And draw it out there. So frame, frame zero is at... Is an image index zero. It is at... 1434 by 0 is where it starts. So 1434 by 0. And it goes to it's with this 478 by one one oh one. So it's one four three four zero. And then we've got one four three four plus four seventy eight, which is one nine one two. And then the width, the height is 1101 plus 0, so it's just going to be 1101. The offset x is 228, 211, and offset y is 80. Alright, so we should be able to go to 1434, and then we go to 1912. by 1101 this seems wrong with this sprite like that seems like not the right the right position for it Like I would assume it would be like that, but it's not. All right, so if that's the, the frame, so the hitbox should be at negative 78.5. Well, let's look at the pivot. The pivot should be at zero and then negative 512.
So if it's at zero, negative five, twelve. Um, how the hell do we put that in this space here? Alright, the offset x and offset y matter here because the offset x and y are how far this thing is offset in space. So where the middle of the thing is. So if we were basically grabbing this object, and this is our texture, Like we have grabbed our picture and we need to put this picture at um, zero zero. So like if we if we drew some lines here, and we put this texture right here that would be zero zero but it's supposed to be offset x is supposed to be 88 so I mean, basically what we're supposed to be doing is putting it, like, right where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to, if this was the whole scene, this square... Well, let's see what we're actually doing with these offset x's inside of, inside of our import tool. So the frame data is the actual frame, and then we have the object frame.
So what is the, the position of the collision object? Garbage. All right, so we've got the units, objects, wrecked, frames, and all this data here. For every object frame, the object frame is this object frame here. And what is the frame data? is the anim data frames subframes. So this is anim data frames. All right, so it's gonna be the frame data X So it's going to be 1434 plus the offset, which is 211, plus the object frame, which is, for the pivot, is going to be 0, plus the width divided by 2, plus 85.3 times 2. And that's the object frame width divided by two times two. Why is it the object frame width of times two? And then this one is going to be. So basically be like the position of the collision object is in texture space um, is 1434 plus 211 plus it's 85.3 times 85.3 times 2 is 170 so it's One four three four plus two eleven plus one seventy. So it's one eight one five in the X, and then the Y is going to be the frame data. It's going to be the Y for the frame is zero plus the offset y, which is 88. We're going to subtract the object frame y, so it's minus a negative 512. And then we're subtracting the height. The height is 85.3. Well, that's for the pivot. Um, We should actually be looking at the width and height are vastly different. It's uh, so the width and height. Where are we actually setting the pivot? It's just offset x plus frame data x. And then we're adding in the frame X for that. So we're not subtracting anything. We're, we're just saying zero. And the same thing there for the pivot. So it's gonna be one, four, three, four plus two, 11. So 1645. And then this is gonna be zero plus 88 plus 512, so it's going to be 600.
So our pivot location is going to be The location is going to be 1645. By 600. So that's where our pivot is, which looks correct to me. All right, so let's do the math on this other thing, which is going to be one four three four plus. Where is two eleven? So the position is going to be our x plus our offset x, and then we're going to add in our frame x, which is negative 78.5, and we're going to add in our object frame width, which is 85.3 times 0.5. It's 85.3 times 0.5, which is 42, 42.65. So it's 1434 plus 11 minus 78.5 plus 42.65. So it's going to be 1609. And we do the same thing for the other one, but we're subtracting the y, so it's going to be 0 plus 88. Um, our y is our y is negative 989.86, and then we subtract the height times 0.5. The height is 392 times 0.5. So let's see, 392 times 0.5 is 196. So our y should be 0 plus 88 plus 989.86 um, minus 196. So it should be 881.86. So if we go here, we need to look at 1609. And then 881. So about there is the bottom left hand corner of our box, which is absolutely wrong. So let's take a look at it again. 
and that's our position and our position is One six oh nine eight eighty one and size is eighty five. I mean, that just seems so not correct. Well, let's see the um, if I had to calculate this right now, I would say the position of this thing is going to be. The same as the other one, it's going to be the position of the box it should be, I believe, the 1434 plus 211 and then minus a negative 78.5 and then it should be 0 plus 88 minus a negative 989.86. And I think the reason why we have this um, other center is because we actually define boxes in Unreal based on their, their center of the box and then the width and height of the box multiplied by 0.5. So you don't define the box by its bottom left hand corner, you, you define it by its center. So it's not always as straightforward as here is what I want. We're actually adding this in here, so it's actually one four three four plus two eleven minus seventy eight point five. So it'd be one five six six point five, and then eighty eight plus. 989.86 so be 1077.6 so we're looking at 1566 66 and then 1077 So right there is where we're actually doing our box. And it's, its width is 85, so so let's see, our, our width should be 1566.5 plus 85.3. So it should be going to 1651.8, and we should be going from 1077.86 minus 989.86. So it's uh, 1077.86 minus 989.86 should be 88. So we should be going from this green dot to 107. 77. Oh, it's it's one six five one. Sorry, one six five one to eighty eight. So the box should between should be between those two things. Like that. The height is not nine eight nine, it is 
392. So it should be 1077.86 plus 392. So it should be 1469.86 So where is 14? Ah Should be six eighty five. Six eighty five and one oh seven seven. I'm looking at the wrong damn things. It's 1651. And 685. So the box should be there. So that's where our um, our box is getting put, and that is, it looks like that is exactly where the box is showing up. So our box calculations are as we would expect. There's nothing wrong with our collision system. The collision is actually putting it in the right spots. Um, So the problem is that's definitely not what we're seeing here with um, the object. Like if we were, we had this object and we were scaling it uniformly, like you would expect something else here right like we would expect if this is scaled wrong that like it's it would be much closer to to this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screenshot this 